The Lord be with you. And also with you. Uh, we are glad you're joining us tonight. It's a beautiful evening outside, and it's a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. I received uh, another CD worth of music, so thank you very much. And we also received a delivery of lasagna on our doorstep. So we're all very happy here this evening. Hope you are well, too. Uh, the order of service, we begin, and uh, we hope you enjoyed that song. as a whole new setting of that. Uh, it's a very nice uh, version. So uh, the order of service, uh, we will continue here. And then also a reminder that tomorrow morning we will have church at 9 a.m., our normal Sunday morning time. And we've got a little surprise. Tomorrow morning I have the Children's Chime Choir from 2015, an old recording I found deep within the hard drive of my computer. So we look forward to having uh, some chimes tomorrow as well from our congregation. So Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We are illumined by the brightness of his rising. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Death has no more dominion over us. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Joyous light of glory. Of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ. We, we have, have come, come to, to the, the setting of the sun, and, and we, we look, look to the, the evening, evening light. light. We, we sing, sing to God. God 
the Father, Father, Son, Son, and Holy Spirit, Spirit, you are worthy of being praised with pure voices forever. O Son of God, O giver of life, the universe proclaims your glory. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who led your people Israel by a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May his word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path, for you are merciful and you love your whole creation. And we, your creatures, glorify you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. O Lord, I call to you. Come to me quickly. Hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a watch before my mouth, O Lord, and guard the door of my lips. Let not my heart incline to any evil thing. Let me not be occupied in wickedness with evildoers. But my eyes are turned to you, O God, and you I take refuge. Strip me not of my life. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Let us pray. Let the incense of our repentant prayer ascend before you, O Lord, and let your loving kindness descend on us, that with purified minds we may sing your praises with the church on earth and the whole heavenly host, 
and may glorify you forever. Amen. Amen. Our reading tonight is from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. But we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers, about those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as others who do not have hope. For since we believe that Christ died and rose again, even so through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. For this we declare to you by a word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command and the voice of an archangel and with the sound of the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So we will always be with the Lord. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. We continue with our readings from Day by Day We Magnify You, daily readings for the entire church year uh, by Martin Luther. Page 178, Christ's resurrection is our own resurrection. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have died. Has in his resurrection, he has taken all things with him, so that both heaven and earth, sun and moon, and all creatures must rise with him and be made new. Even so will he bring us with him. The same God who raised Christ from the dead will give life again to our mortal bodies and with us all creatures, which are now subject to futility, and which with earnest expectation await our glorification and desire to be set free from this existence and to be made glorious. For us, more than half of our resurrection is already accomplished, because our heart and head are already above, and only the smallest part remains to be done, namely, that the body be buried in order that it too be made new. No one will deny that the corpse of a dead man is a wretched thing, but I possess an understanding higher than the eyes can see or the senses perceive, which faith teaches me. For there stands the next say the text, for there stands the text saying, He has been raised. He is no longer in the grave and buried under the earth, but has been raised from the dead, and this not for his own sake, but for our sake, that his resurrection be made ours, so that we too may rise in him and not remain in the grave and in death, but that our bodies may celebrate with him an everlasting Easter day. Sermons from the year 1532. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O death, is your victory? Where, O death, is your sting? 1 Corinthians chapter 15. We continue with hymn uh, 481, Scatter the Darkness, Break the Gloom, a wonderful Easter hymn, uh, which is new to us, but uh, is a wonderful uh, hymn to proclaim the resurrection. An angel went from God to 
a town called Nazareth to a woman whose name was Mary. The angel said to her, Rejoice, O highly favored, for God is with you. You shall bear a child, and his name shall be Jesus, the chosen one of God most high. And Mary said, I am the servant of my God. I live to do your will. My soul proclaims your greatness, O God, and my spirit rejoices in you. You have looked with love on your servant here, and blessed me all my life through. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Matthew, Benjamin, Daniel, John, for all pastors in Christ, for all missionaries and servants of the church and for all the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Donald, Mitch, Nancy, John, Eric, James, for all public servants, for the government and those who protect us, that they may be upheld and strengthened in every good deed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Amy, (coughs) Chad, Darcy, Dave, Deb, Eve, Laura and Laura, Heather, Jessica and Joan, Judy, Kaylee, and Kevin, Kyle, Shelley, and Tim, and all those who work to bring peace, justice, health, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who bring offerings, those who do good works in this congregation, those who toil, those who sing, and all the people here present who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
For the unemployed, the hungry, the destitute, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Robert, Nicole, Tim, Yvonne, Duane, Laura, Trenton, and Kaylee, all the members of Faith Lutheran Church and their families, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the faithful who have gone before us and are with Christ, let us give thanks to the Lord. Alleluia. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Rejoicing in the fellowship of the saints, let us commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to Christ our Lord. To you, O Lord. O God, from whom come all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Taught by our Lord and trusting his promises, we are bold to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve you. Amen. Amen. Our closing hymn tonight is Go Ye Now in Peace by the Perduets, Women of Song, from their CD. And uh, we will be streaming next tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. That is a typo for our regular more Sunday morning service. Um, we're very glad that you are joining us here tonight for prayer. We ask you to be sure to share the service tomorrow um, ahead of time and consider starting a um, watch party in the morning so that other people can follow along. Uh, we will see you in the morning and we pray that, that you rest uh, in peace this evening.